New at 6 o'clock, it has been nearly two months since a rickshaw driver was hit by a car that police say sped away from the scene. In his first interview since that night and after nine surgeries, Travis Odell tells me that he is grateful to be alive and is committed to getting back to the life he enjoyed. They saw the speeding vehicle and then they saw me and they stopped. The car hit the bike the bike hit me and then I was thrown 81 feet. As we sat in the Roper Rehabilitation Center, Travis Odell pieced together the night he was nearly killed. I was, I rolled another 30 or so feet and then came to a stop. As I understand it, I lost about eight pints of blood and then needed an additional eight pints of plasma from that hit. 56 days ago, that collision nearly ended his life and mangled his body. I don't remember being hit. I don't remember anything really until I was in the ICU. He was driving a rickshaw in downtown Charleston near George in Meeting Streets when he says the driver of a car slammed into the back of him. Do you think at all about the person who's accused in this incident? No. I mean, I, I, I hope that he learned something from this. And I, I, don't, I don't lose any sleep at night for, for that. When you consider um, the extent of your injuries, two broken legs, two collapsed lungs, broken ribs, fractured pelvis, dislocated hip. If I try to think about all of those and focus on everything at once, I'll dilute, I'll dilute myself and my energy. So I'm just doing what the physical therapist and occupational therapist are recommending, taking it one step quite literally, at a time. So you've enjoyed such an active life, uh, a marathoner, a dancer. Handle the rickshaw is something that certainly lends itself to how well you've done in your recovery. I know it. I know it. And I also, like I said, I trust my body, and I'm counting on it. Travis says he's also counting on the comprehensive care from his two medical teams at the Medical University of South Carolina and Roper Rehabilitation Center. They have given me my uh, ability to stand on my own two feet again, and that has been um, priceless. I know that a lot of good things are going to come from this. I don't necessarily even know what they are yet, but, you know, I am not paralyzed. I'm going to walk again. I'm going to run again. I'm going to swim again, and I'm going to do it well. We are going to hold you to that. Okay. I'm counting on it. Travis is represented by the Anastapulo law firm. The person arrested for driving the car that hit Odell is Andrew Dimitri. The police report says that he registered a .19 on a breath test. That's more than twice the legal limit in South Carolina. He's charged with hit and run resulting in death or injury and felony DUI resulting in death or injury. I called and emailed the attorney for Dimitri but have not received a response before tonight's broadcast.